being a black folks and always keeping track of data and new what they figure is amazing okay but the number one thing is to realize that there is one thing that Bino Black is very much pro and people that could really research and find out who Bino Black is and there are some very very powerful rich people in the world crowns and so forth and so on uh, black boxes government agencies people that just want to know or they're gonna hit somebody you see what I'm saying people know who I am people that are very powerful or fluent and well, and all that crap like that people that are so powerful that money means nothing to them because they have power and control now Beano black is pro drill drill baby flip and drill and flip and spell it all UK and leave out the C yes flipping drill okay drill baby drill okay and the one dangerous thing is what I've tried to let everybody know and scientifically is they go through these new graphene oxide sheets okay but what people don't realize is there is a black hole that has been invented because we are gonna see in this I might have to pop down and read the article and bring it up but basically this is a black hole for water if water goes through this gonzo okay yes it distills alcohol okay water has a bunch of amoebas in it even though we have pure water there's always very minute minerals and so forth and so on in every natural water that we're getting okay but as it says in this somewhere and I'm gonna I'm gonna so the idea I get to the fact of what I'm worried about and also the idea that when you can there is a certain uh, and yes they've made a major mistake and even this is a major mistake and you'll see the names and so forth and so on and whatever great if you keep it under control but if this is to let go crazy or if certain fuels that people can make by bacteria were to go into the air they could do the same thing that this graphene can do basically a black hole on H2O without water if we were to evaporate ourselves forget a desert ladies and gentlemen we basically would be somewhat like Mars okay and that's what we don't know and a lot of scientists are trying to figure out about Mars is that what happened to Mars and it quite the odds are very high that that did happen and if it didn't happen even if it could be an earth someday but the Sun would have to and then the idea that we are seeing the passage through the supergiants of the Sun and the supergiants main sequence so we know no matter what that there's a certain level in space where planets can be okay uh, if they're not there in that certain temperature and everything like that you either burn up or you freeze to death so earth is in a little hole we're very small I've showed you with uh, looking at the Sun and Jupiter Jupiter is like 10 point something uh, it would take 10 point something of them almost just rounded off at 11 to be enough and this is a great invention if it's kept under control but it does tell you where the pos the actual that when water goes through it it disappears okay water the alcohol content keeps the moisture there then we'll be all be drunk you see and then people worry about chemtrails there is certain reasons to worry about chemtrails and certain things if they're not getting it just right okay this will have all kinds of things that they could distill uh, alcohol with it so far we already have ways to distill alcohol we don't need another way and we don't need something to uh, see memories and for selective removal of water but if they don't keep it to a selective removal of water the next thing you know we don't have any moisture at all there's two key elements to the world and how we keep our atmosphere trees plants and greens and water our trees anything green pacifies cleans out the, the fudge up fuca fudge up that's correct that's why in a nuclear disaster nuclear fallout you're supposed to eat fresh meat okay and I'm just basically I am pro meat there is every council on anything from pork beef chicken poultry anything wild game loves being all black but it just comes down to this straight out cuz yeah cuz I'm not on that crap actually I'm embarrassed that way I got on Facebook but I was on there and basically still on there just because the idea that when they started screwing with Dutch then that's where we had to go to keep a forum okay so I'll still have it probably forever 
Uh, YouTube's going to have issues too, but the idea that everybody has to realize on the internet, there was a conversation today at Dutch Sense. It does not matter where you go. It does not matter what phone call you make anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Your government or governments, UK or America, are going to keep an ear or an eye on what you're up to at all times. Everybody is spied on. Okay? And yes, we know in America that more than likely it was the richest money in the world, Godzilla and this, that, having a fight, what happened, 9-11, okay? And then there is secret, and they, they're not because they're not secret, okay? And there still is secret, but the idea that it always changes, and they can always change, and anybody that's secret can always change their name, this, that, or whatever, okay? Uh, there's no secret about me. Power, money, and control knows who the hell I am, and they can all kiss my ass. And they know that. So anyway, this is very important, folks, because like it says, controlled, and then you have a danger, okay? And then the danger being that the idea that scientifically, even me being talking, but someone has to politically correctly say something to begin with, and it is. It's very dangerous because, like they mention, selective removal of water. Remember that. They were warning that the idea that selective removal of water, because it'll take water gone everywhere. It's a black hole for water. It's a great invention, but it's also a great weapon to take water away from anybody, anywhere in the world. Okay? Yes, folks. Uh, we are in danger of what we've talked about at Dutch Sense. And, it's no big, and we're not in danger because we're being smart to realize that the idea that when people start messing with mother nature in a way to go after someone and we've already had agreements chemical warfare is chemical ali you are gonzo okay that's why a lot of people that have been in any kind of a conflict war or anything in the last who knows how many years everything going back to world war one is the idea that if you go down that avenue and this is a danger okay this graphene has the ability to just make water go into thin nothing, dryness, okay? Desert, okay? And then let's go to another topic here real fast while I got time. Yes, folks, eventually someday you might bump into something with warfare and so forth and so on. Uh, basically, to debunk this, and basically it can easily debunk this, anybody knows anything about certain experiments that are covered up by certain experiences, other names, and then I'll think of a very big city in the eastern part of the United States starts with a P, okay? And I can go there because, hey, sharing politically. Uh, the U.S. and its allies knew about cloaking in World War II, okay? Practiced it, used it, dangerous, okay? You can meld things into walls, okay? Steel beams, okay? Happened, factual, okay? So there's tons of stuff that's been invented a long time ago that they think that they just invented and for, did for the first time here, okay? They did it in a lab independently, not with the government, okay? Maybe with government funds, but, okay? So as the beat moves on, been known for, been known for years, okay? They just ain't going to teach you at schools, okay, anymore. They used to, okay? Nobody needs to know anymore. It just causes racial this and that, okay? We all know and no one cares, okay? We're all here. Deal with it. Hey, want to die of a heart attack when somebody plays a certain rhythm because you're not on a fixed microwave beat? Hey, see what might happen to you someday? Oh, yeah, I paid a lot of money for this and bam, hey, hey you paid money to have yourself killed. Hey, pretty smart, huh? They are. Kill somebody willingly. It's, it's a key deal to law, okay? Willingly. You killed yourself willingly. You bought a uh, rhythmic, uh, yeah, and basically we can kill you by playing a certain beat, okay? Yep. Keep yourself healthy, ladies and gentlemen. Fitness. And then we come to this crazy-ass ass menagerie of more of, and we love the channel, surprised they let me still come here because the idea that most of their articles I shoot down like a, and basically we're shooting this one down, because everything all of a sudden gets called an asteroid, okay, because being all black and a bunch of private 
you know, ain't got you know people that are retired on the internet, and all of a sudden everything's a flipping asteroid. Okay, now how goddamn goofy can that be? Okay, because we figured out and just easily, but the idea the guy that in Australia that saw the comet that came around that almost hit the sun and basically some portions of its asteroids belt or whatever that the, means the debris in the tail that was following it or in front of it or around it because when the guy found the asteroid in in uh, Australia it it was, had three major portions and we proved it by when it went back by Jupiter and it's got very interesting electrical properties to it and basically being a back being Beano Black being an electrician, reversing the motor, when it went past Jupiter, there was a change of, they were the motor reversed on it, okay? And it's still going through space, but the idea that the triangulation, meaning it more than likely just like a three-phase motor, it changed direction because the tail was going forward as it was going, it was actually going backwards, okay? The comet was going the direction it was going, but the tail was in front, okay? When it got up by Jupiter, it changed directions. Changing a, a motor direction, you can do it on a three-phase motor. You can also do it on a two-phase motor, but it's Mr. Beano Black's secret. Okay? Now, and it's not really a secret. Some real good electricians know how to do it. So then we're going to go to the data of this, th this asteroid, which all of a sudden comets become asteroids because they know that it's three parts. And then the astrologers do talk to astronomers because then they figure out shit like this. Because you can do with proportional integral derivatives, folks, when they find out where it was, but then they turn around and start matching it up. Well, then it was this that was then. Okay? And in this article back there that I was just at, if you go to there, they talk about, that I'm at NASA on this, and it's a 7. Oh, now they got a condition 5 because Bino looked it up. Yesterday it was a 7. And yeah, it probably should be pretty safe. Maybe they downgraded it all of a sudden because people started looking at it. Yesterday I told on Dutch what it was, and basically also... It was on the articles that I ended up reading, you know. So everything's a fake, fake bunch of BS, folks, and you just got to dig out and get the truth of everything. That's why I love facts, raw data. Usually most alpha males love facts and data because usually every lawyer putting power, money, and control, doctor or female, or dirty power and control trying to get your money is usually I got a female for you that's after your sperm count and your bank account. And it's that simple, just like that movie said. And it was a damn good movie, too. So anyway, this thing's going to be close to Earth and Moon, and we got the 27th and the 28th, okay? And the nearest it'll be, and it's going to be pretty darn close, but uh, we're pretty safe because the, I think the third one there on the on the deal, if I always said the the max, the minimum it dis, the the minimum it could possibly be, and this is done through proportional. They just keep running it through the mainframe, running it through the mainframes, and all the computers that they can run it through and everything like that, and then it comes down to this is probably as God damn close as it could get. Are you okay? And it's just one tick lower than that, the maximum. So they get it down pretty damn good. But see, it's been around, and they said it was just coming. Oh, we just found this thing this year, or the, whatever the hell. What do they say that they found it? And who's right for this? Sesame Street. If it dared to try, Asteroid Watcher scientist tweeted today. Jesus, age criminies. What the flipping pie ass crap shit. Fudge sickles, anyway, for Christ's sakes. And yeah, I got some religious guy that's pretty famous, and he's putting his hand out trying to be my buddy and everything on the internet. And hey, you're all right, you know. Hey, but the idea that you know it's getting pretty bad when reality's got actually religious people that have a site and they're looking at what's up there in space and they're mad at everybody in the world. It's like, well, well, whatever. well, the stuff's out there, and it, you got to keep an eye on it, okay? And he's actually saying the S word on his site, folks. Yes, and he's a site, and maybe more than likely we might talk sometime, but I really don't think. Since I'm such alpha male, and he is also, and just about any alpha male is, it ain't going to happen. Me and Dutch have gotten along on a phone call at one time. Big deal. I talked to him on the phone. He's basically got scientific, actual, raw data, facts on stuff, okay? And people don't like it when you know shit, okay? So anyway, they talk about this thing, I think, believe being found this year. And this is where I go, folks. No found? New found? Yeah, no found. Not new find. Because, ladies and gentlemen... They've got it matched back to that, okay? So astronomers and astrologers talk, okay? Either that or one way or the other, the information gets pillaged and stolen, okay? Which is damn good. At least, you know, NASA is still controlled by the U.S. G-O-D. I believe in God, okay? There's a Marine down there making sure nobody pilferages with the damn thing any more than it's already been pilferaged over the years, okay? Yeah, there's 800 pounds of rocks missing, ladies and gentlemen. So yesterday it was a 7, now it's a 5 today. 
there was 800 pounds of, of moon rocks that are missing, ladies and gentlemen. And the idea that there wasn't even hardly, there was just a little bit more. Put the 800 pounds back, motor on belt.